finished another book. <laughs> I know, such a shock, because I never finish books. Yes, I do, I'm lying to you. Um, yeah, no, I finished yet another book. I'm on my 32nd already of the year. I had a double snow day Wednesday and Thursday of this week. So, I read, and read, and did homework, and read, and then went outside and tried to not die in the snow. I'm too uncoordinated for my own good. Except my A plus and my dance final proved that wrong. Happy dance for passing dance. I don't know what that was. I never know. Isn't it great being me? No, I'm totally lying. No, I'm not. I don't know. I guess I'm just rambling. But I have book news about the book I just finished. I don't know if that was occasionally I just burst out into random singing thoughts. I don't know what they are at all. Anyways, um, over the double snow day, it's like a double rainbow, no totally lying. It's not, I hate that video. Um, I got my package of Barnes & Noble books that I ordered at the 26th of December, and it almost took them a month to get delivered. Um, they were in New Jersey for a really long time. I don't know why you want to do that. Hi, hey. Um, so I finished The Tales of Beetle and Bard in a half hour, and then in two hours, because I kept getting interrupted by TV and nonsense, I read the third book in the Touch novel series, so I read Deadly Little Games! Oh my god, I love it so much! I just wanna, I wanna marry this book. It's amazing. Well, no, I actually wanna marry The Hunger Games, but... This video is not about that. It's about it's about this book, Deadly Little Games, which I'm in love with. When they finished in two hours, <laughs> I know I I have problems reading, which is why I guess I have to get enough. That's what my mom told me. Thanks, mom. Um. Anyways, but this book is amazing, and I'm gonna say now, I might be spoiling it for people who haven't either read it yet or haven't read the series yet. So. Take the next couple seconds to pause the video, fast forward the video, or go to a go to a geeky person um blog channel or something. Go go to Luke Connors, they're Christina Horners, they're not telling me to say this I promise. Go go to watch the Vlog Brothers, they're all really talented. Go watch Mike Lombardo, he's really good too. Or Alex Carpenter or Jason Monday. I'm sorry, I'm listing off everybody who played at the, uh, Triple Rainbow Awesome Tour, which is on my wall. I went for my birthday. Yeah, I made a vlog about that, never posted it. I'll get into that maybe later. Um, anyways, so, Deadly Little Games is a really, really amazing book, and, um, I guess what I will be saying next is going to make sense for people who have read the series before or even the first book, and not the second or third. And if you have read the third, I might... Yeah, you'll understand. Um, so, I really, really like this book. I like the characters. I was surprised by this book. It wasn't anything like I thought it was going to be. Um, and it's been a while since I've read the first book. I know I'm saying the hurt, so I'm going Anyways, um, and I kept... For a second, in the beginning, I kept confusing Adam and Mike, and I was like, wait, no, Mike's in jail, so that doesn't make sense. Oh, yes, I'm remembering Adam from Book of Dust. Um, and Adam, I liked in the second book up to a point, but I did not like him in this book, because even though he's like, oh, no, 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 I, re I, respect, I respect your relationship. How's it going there? <laughs> um, and that's why I felt that Adam was, which is why I didn't like him, and then... I just thought the, towards the end, the attempted murder, the homicide scene was a bit odd. I haven't read someone being tied up to a bed post to be murdered in a really long time. It's, it's been a couple of years, and I'm not that old. <laughs> um, but I really liked this book. It had a lot of surprises, I think. Camellia, I got very mad at at the end, and... So Ben is now my favorite character in the series. He he takes it in the main characters, and then Kimmy is 
getting to be, I don't know, and West just has gotten annoying, I find. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's a really good book, but now I'm going to switch topics real quick, because I'm hoping to only make this video like 10 minutes, not even, it wasn't supposed to be this long. Um, but, let's see, it's Friday, and usually that means I get to sleep in, I don't have to wake up early, no, I'm a thespian. Yes, an actor, an actress actually, if I want to be correct, I am an actress, and I am also a techie. And I'm going to a theater festival tomorrow, YouTube. Isn't that great? I love theater festivals. And if I'm performing, I haven't performed at one yet. So I'm very, very, very excited. Um, I'm doing a scene from our Snick and Old Lace that I did in November when I played Elaine Harper. So we're taking a scene from that and doing it for an IE. Hey, look, I can teach you lingo. IE is individual events. Isn't that great? Except we do group events, so not technically, but yeah, same thing. thing. Um, and let's see, that means that tomorrow I have to get up at like 4.30 so I can be ready for 5.30 to drive to school. And then at 6 o'clock I get into a nasty old school van that reads classical magnet on the side and drive to Newport, Rhode Island, go to Salve Regina. I'll try and take some videos or something so I can show you guys. Um, and make a video about it. Because theater festivals are really fun. If you're not into theater, you should get into theater. I'm not saying this as, like, I don't know what, but theater people are really cool. We're very, very welcoming people, and we're very strange, as you can tell, I guess, from me. And if you look at some of my future videos when I post them, it's going to prove that. Like, last year I did a play that was in a pool. That was our main set piece, a pool. And the water was freezing, but we had kids from the athletics department, we had the original theater kids, we had new theater kids. We were just awesome. And it was the best play I think I've ever seen or done or been in. And I worked with some pretty cool theater before. So I really haven't even heard of that last year. Um, but yeah, so I guess I will see you I'll try, I'll try and make a video on Sunday about um, Sunday and Monday because I don't have school Monday. Thank you, Martin Luther King Day. Um, so okay, I'll see you. I'll see you this weekend, YouTube. Bye.